Have you made financial mistakes that you regret? Do you feel like you should be at a different place financially than you really are? Well, are those feelings holding you back? Let's talk about that coming up. Hey there folks, I'm Patrick King with Transformative Financial. Here on this channel, we help people make money, keep money, and feel more financially secure along the way. If that's something that you're interested in, I would love to talk with you and see if it's a good fit. My email is patrick at transformative-financial.com, and my contact information is below in the show notes. But on today's episode, has a mistake that you've made in your financial life uh, kept you from moving forward? One thing that I commonly hear from clients when I start to meet with them and get into the details of their finances are stories around mistakes that they make, made or think that they've made along the way. Quite frequently, what I'll hear is, I know this is bad, but I've got this credit card debt over here. And there's an element of shame or guilt or regret around that. Or, uh, gosh, I know I shouldn't have done this, but I I didn't know any better and I stuck my money in this annuity with all these fees. Regret or shame or guilt over some of the financial mistakes that you may or may not have made in the past often hold people back from moving forward. They keep people from having those conversations with uh, a real financial advisor, like a fee-only fiduciary type advisor like me. If you don't know what that is, I'll post uh, a link to some of the fiduciary videos that that I've made in the past too. You can learn a little bit more about that. But, but having that regret or shame or guilt around mistakes uh, can cost you money going forward. If it's stopping you from taking, taking hold of your situation and, and instead of dwelling on the past, moving forward, then, uh, then it's become an, another obstacle for you. And, and also, everyone makes mistakes. Right? Everyone makes mistakes. This is not, this is not a game of perfect. Uh, it's a game of let's see if we can and maximize this uh, as much as possible. We aren't taught this stuff, folks. There's no class in high school that you got that taught you how to invest, the different be difference between the types of accounts that you can invest in, and how important it really is, how, you know, how people get paid in this industry. We don't know those things coming out of the womb. So that's, of course, one reason why, why we all make mistakes along the way. Um, you know, if you've watched the video of why I got into this business, you know, part of the reason is I, I made a mistake in investing. You know, I trusted a broker and, uh, and he put me in some investments that weren't in my best interest and were expensive. So, uh, so yeah, that motivated me to do this and it motiva motivates me to continue to help clients and put out these, these videos that hopefully you're watching uh, and getting something out of along the way to help, help educate folks around you know, how this works. It's no mystery, but, but we do have um, an element of taboo around talking about our finances in this country. Uh, there's a lot of comparisons that, you, you know, the shoulds, like, I feel like I should be at a certain point at this age is something that I hear a lot of. Um, so there is no should. There's just, there is what is. You are where you are. If you want to be somewhere else, let's make a plan to get there. You know, um, <laughs> you know it's, uh, it's a no judgment zone. One, one thing that I kind of compare it to, and I try to be sensitive to folks when they open their, you know, if I ask for your tax return, uh, people are very, you know, oh my gosh, well, here it is. And, and uh, I kind of compare it to going to the doctor's office. You know, for me, I go to the doctor's office, and the first thing you go in to do, the doc says, okay, pull your pants down. You know, okay. <laughs> it's not something that we're comfortable with, but at the same time, I think of, you know, the doctor's doing this all day, and they're probably not excited about you pulling your pants down. It just is what it is. Let's see where we are. We've got to do. We've got to do this exam, 
it may not be comfortable for you. It's not going to be painful, you know, especially when it's Dr. Jellyfingers we're talking about. Uh, I think, you know, men, you, you know what I'm talking about in a lot of cases. And women, too, with, uh, you know, your OBGYN visits. Not always the most comfortable, um, but, but, but necessary to figure out where you are in, like, in your health. You know, asking for a tax return or, you know, let's go through your statements. Let's examine where you are. You know, it might feel a little uncomfortable, a little vulnerable at first, but, but just like your doctor, you know, I, I see this stuff all day. It's, they're just numbers. To me, I, I, don't, I don't judge folks. It's like, okay, where are you? You know, where are you and where do you want to go? Uh, and, and just to kind of leave you on a final note, um, this is such a strong emotion that one of my close family members kept putting off having a financial review with me because... I think she was afraid that, in, in her words, I would get in trouble uh, when I looked at what she, what she did. You know, I would get in trouble. I mean, she would get in trouble. And uh, I would judge her, and, which was absolutely silly. You know, this is someone that I would, I would give my life for. And here she was afraid to have this conversation. So this, these emotions around mistakes or, or shoulds or, um, or regrets can be very, very powerful. So my, my, my question to you is, are you going to let them hold you back? And are they really as something uh, as, as profound and painful as you think that they are? Chances are they're not. All of us make these mistakes. You know, everyone does. No one does this perfectly. And so, so for me, this financial planning thing is a no judgment zone. It just is what it is. They're numbers. We're going to figure out how to get for where you are, to where you want to be. That's it. All right, that's all I got for today. Uh, a little bit of soft, uh, soft uh, woo-woo stuff for you, uh, <laughs> I guess, as far as this uh, financial stuff goes this week. Uh, I, again, my name is Patrick King with Transformative Financial. Uh, thank you for watching. Of course, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, cheers.